ancestors and the spirit of my generation. You call it the 21st century, the spoiled era, or even the useless youngsters. Call it whatever you want. But I stand proud to say that this is my generation. The highest bidder takes it all. If you don't have money, you don't make sense. This is the philosophy of my generation. No one wants to be poor. So he who has no money must not talk. I would be born in another generation. But I choose this one because this indeed is the best generation of all. We have broken all the odds. It is in my generation where we practiced all kinds of sin, they say. Well, I don't trust their accusations. But aren't they to blame for it? They also practice the same immoralities they condemn. Indeed, the pot is cut from its own cloth. An apple never falls far from its tree. I learn it from them as their actions speak louder than their words. Then they blame it on my generation. even pride. You pay my bills, I give you the sexual satisfaction. It is more like a transaction. We don't get broke men. The irony in my generation. What did you say? That virginity is a virtue that you upheld in your generation? Well, welcome to the opposite in my generation. horses we don't ride. A vehicle is never paid for before a road test. My society appreciates the spoiled girl. They call her fool. There is no space for the cultured woman and traditional and humble girl. As for the other gender, they want to prove that they are men even when they are still boys. And well, that is my generation. Gender equality is the trend in my world. Women rights. Mm. We are fighting for them. And we have fought for the women so much that we have forgotten about the men. Their needs no longer touch the ground because we wear trousers just like they do. It is gender equality after all. The funny bit though is that the bills are never equal. I hope we fight for men's rights one day. Maybe then this whole gender equality thing will make sense in my generation. Did your parents listen to you? Well, majority of ours never listen. They never have time. And even when they do, it makes no difference. Because they are what is fine They hear, they don't listen. Then they blame me for early marriage. Tell me why I would not run off with the one that listens to and loves me. However short it may last. Why won't I do drugs? When they help me forget, even just for a minute, about my problems with the world. A world that has taught me to beg for what is rightfully mine. And work hard only to get less pain. A world engulfed in corruption, and it is survival for the fittest. There is absolutely no space for the weakest. It all goes on in my generation. The religion in my generation. Our ancestors must be disappointed. The world, the word they welcome wholeheartedly has now divided us intensely. Maria and Mohammed cannot get married. 
My era does not allow them peacefully. The unity religion brought is now the hatred religion has brought. It is just the opposite of your generation. I mean you, the elders. So when I act this way, and my behavior is this way, don't blame me because it is not entirely my fault. It was my generation that groomed me this way and you did not trim me. Don't blame it on me. Blame it on my generation.